This is the narrator. No one needs to hear Maggie speak. She's such a ridiculous girl, always rambling on about something. Just go ahead and start the game already, please. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back into the channel for another episode of Little Misfortunes. And no, I didn't mess it up by saying Little Nightmares like I did in the other four takes, but I did just admit it to you guys. Um, all jokes aside, thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. And with that, we're going to be resuming at the zoo where we're going to tell Benjamin's cousin that he's been a naughty fox. Although I do want to make sure that I like tell you guys my prediction right now. I think the fox is actually, even though we did see him being directed by death, I still somehow feel like he might be protecting us in some weird way. Um... I mean, what if I, I don't know, I, I have some wild predictions in my head and I just feel like I don't want to say all of them, but I definitely don't trust the narrator by any means. Also, when it comes to our decisions, I almost feel like every decision I make turns out bad in some sort of way. So I'm starting to feel less terrible about which decision I decide on, because I think that both of them might even have a bad outcome when it does come down to deciding. But yeah, so with everything with Benjamin, I think that every, I know all the signs point to him being bad, but that just makes me want to think that he's good. But that's because reverse psychology actually works on me. <laughs> all right, let's just get into it and figure out like what, what is what. And it might not be as simple as one person's bad or one person's good, right? Um, it so rarely is that simple or that black and white. By the way, I do want to mention that I talked about it a lot in the last episode, but just one more thing. If you've seen Black Phone, I highly recommend it. It's a really terrifying but well done movie. Um, however, this game reminds me so much of it from the missing children to the like ghosts of them and then also the mass and everything. I know that's such a like, I mean, those are pretty similar tones within a lot of me, uh, a lot of entertainment sources and stuff like that but it still just reminds me very heavily of that but yeah okay let's go find benjamin and get our eternal happiness back so we can give it to our mother thanks for being here guys and i hope y'all enjoy this next segment oh we have to sneak into the zoo by distraction and no not how our mom distracted <laughs> the guy at the gas station or grocery store a wolf can I bet the wolf? He looks really sweet. Just wait and see, mm. Miss Fortune. Wait and see. He looks very <laughs> sweet. Okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. More missing posters. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Huh, mm. they know about... Okay, before we distract him, let's see all of Can our surroundings. Ew, yucky. No tickets. Only yucky. <laughs> Only yucky. It's just the way that she talks. Like the whole, not like the way that she talks, but the word choice that she makes. I, I guess I haven't, I feel like I haven't really, like I have a niece, but other than that, I'm not, obviously not around kids very often. So I forget how just funny and fun it can be. Just listening to them talk about certain things. Hey, remember? What? Yes. Phantasmagoria. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. I thought we told him that we wanted to go. Okay. This is breakable. Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Like stony. I think I came up with an idea. What if... Break the window or tell a lie? Oh man. I, uh, vandalism or tell a lie? <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, the only problem is if we throw Stony, are we going to be able to get Stony back? But if we tell a lie, okay, let's try telling a lie. Because we have to get in either way. I'll tell a lie so he believes it. A lie, Miss Fortune. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I mean, that's the only way to get inside, trust me. All right, let's go. I don't look at me like that. It's better than vandalizing the property. Hello, excuse me. There's one of the missing children at the bus stop. I just saw her. You may want to go and check it out. <laughs> See, no harm, no foul. Thank you. 
Yes, it worked. You think he wouldn't come back and realize that we went into the zoo, though? Isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? Why is he excited by about way, that? You did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin really? is the wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. Benjamin's cousin is a wolf, which makes it more suspicious. Damn it, maybe Benjamin is really just bad. <laughs> He's bad news bears. Bad news fox. Hmm. Look, birdie nut mom. <laughs> oh, what? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck. Oh. Oh, Miss Fortune, watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh, dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. Oh, I guess I haven't sparkled anything in a while. That's true. We got a real Captain Morgan over there. I love how the bird down there is just eating, watching. The pirate bird. Bird num num parrot. Lifespan? 10 to 20 years, omnivore, widely spread around the planet. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very little. They usually work together with human pirates, natural born thieves, founders of the Liberation Front. It says, the num num parrot. This kind of parrot lives across the entire world. They talk much, but say very, very little. little. They usually work together with human pirates, natural born thieves. Thieves, founders of the Liberation Front. Huh. Mean birdie num num. Mean birdie num num. I'll let her read the next one. Look, this bird seems pretty smart. It isn't. Trust me. Move on, Miss Fortune. Really? He's just appearing smart. I like his coffee cup and the lantern with the bag. The hipster reading bird. Owl Delucious. Uh, lifespan 60 to 100 it's years. Owl Delucious. These owls normally hang near libraries, <laughs> bookstores, and coffee shops. Although they seem incredibly smart, their huge self centered lifestyle drives them to gather useless information. They live off attention. <laughs> Funny bird. Oh, wow. They live off of attention. Usually, lifestyle drives them to gather useless information, though. <laughs> oh, not this bird again. Somehow I feel offended by this bird. Don't be. It doesn't know what it's doing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't. Number one. Oh. Nice. I'm gonna... It says, fuck it, Ilios, this shit you. This... Birds multiply at a very high rate with different partners, leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. Dysfunctional they don't offspring. Care about anything as long as they are occupied by mindless entertainment. <sighs> <laughs> leaving behind dysfunctional offspring. Steal bird seeds. I'm going to. I'll take the seeds because I want to feed the birds so they're not hungry. I mean, don't look at me like that. We already snuck into the zoo to begin with. I don't think it's... I mean, I think we've already dipped our toes into this life of crime. Well, so Open much fields. To see do. Find the wolf area so we know Okay, where to three, go. four, I five. Think the zoo is about Six. to close. Oh, the polar bear. There, you see? Pet the wolfie. Great job. Pet the wolfie. Let's hurry up now. She looks so tired. You know, I'm feeling really annoyed. Like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones uh... waking up inside you. What? Homos? No. 
hormones. Ah, oh, okay. What's that? Oh my... Bodies preparing to create life inside you. You get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, uh, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes for Why is he telling her this? each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. <laughs> Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> oh. uh, so much better. And society will treat you like shit for many, many years. Right by the statue, of course. I don't know, I'm just like, wait. This is, he really thinks that this is the time to tell her? I guess her mom probably, I don't know, based on her relationship with her parents. I don't know if they'd exactly tell her. Benjamin? There are coins at the bottom of the fountain. Yes, okay, we... Those are people's wishes. Can one pay for wishes? People nowadays think they can buy everything with money. Interesting. I wish I could do a coin and ask for my happiness back. Also, does Benjamin transform into a good foxy? Because I would totally go out on a date with him. If he was good. Oh. Mm. you done here, Miss Fortune? Yeah. <laughs> Because I would totally go out on a date with him. Ah, the junk glass. I wish I could write Japanese. My so junk. I could send a cute postcard to my friend Hira. But where does a ghost live? Stop mm. lying, Miss Fortune. Ghosts are not real. You're just jealous because you don't have a ghost friend. We've seen quite a few ghosts, in fact. Oh, look the plushies. Uh, Look at those sweet flashes. They could be all my babies. Don't get too attached to those toys. Don't worry, I'm just looking. Hmm. <laughs> this looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Wash closet. There we go, the wolf. Oh, but we get to see the polar bear first. Poor polar bear. Hmm. Oh my. Looks like this area is closed. We have to, to sneak public. past. Oh, damn it. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you. Otherwise, she will lock you in and call your mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm like a sweet little ninja. I'm a little I could lady. Hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea. Hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do this. I love the polar bear. Meet Popsicle, the polar bear. <laughs> Look, the bear in the picture is sucking a popsicle. <laughs> it looks like it's strawberry flavor. Or cherry. Mm, yummy. <laughs> okay, oh. Like a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now, wait okay. for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? Oh, mind? what? No. Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. It's a I bird. Like all of them. Don't tell mommy. Well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. One of those birds. Oh, go, 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 go. It looks on TV. It looks cooler when you killed the person. Okay, we made it. Like the shadow ninja master. Oh. She never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. One more There's box. One more go, box go, 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 you have to sneak past. You better watch me when I name this one. Go, 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 go. Oh, I made it. The <gasps> ninja lady is the best. Well done. She's face planning every time. I want to be able to see the polar bear. It looks so sad. All right, to the wolf. We're getting pretty close. The music's so well done. Okay, let's try. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Huh, the piece is missing. What's that? It doesn't say anything. Hmm. I'm so mad that I ignored the previous stone. And nobody saw us coming. You really proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. 
You're not a little lady like me. You're just a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, much more than that. However, now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pet it, and get Benjamin's address like a ninja. I'm suspicious of everything right now because we just played through the Hearts of Stone DLC in, uh, in Witcher 3, and I feel like the Master of Mirrors has me making, like, thinking everybody's suspicious it and says, sneaky. Canis Lupus, also known as the Big Bad Wolf. His favorite snack is red hooded little girls. That's silly. Remember the missing children? Mm-hmm. Maybe he's behind it all. Oh, you see. Think he's eating the children? Who knows? <gasps> You're right. We should call the cops on him. No, we don't want to get involved with the police. Uh, okay. Um Look, there's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. You'll see. The wolf won't talk to us? Mr. Wolfie? How would he have been the one? This guy is 100% the bad person. Like, the voice? I mean, I don't know how because I know he's just a voice right now. I don't know how exactly, but I don't trust him. I feel like he's just making... Everybody else seems suspicious other than himself. And him Hello. being like... Are you Benjamin's cousin? You know, that fluffy fox with the most dearest big blue eyes? No? I don't know anyone called Johnny. Who's that? Johnny? You're talking about Benjamin. He's this sweet looking fox that ended up stealing my happiness. I'm not that into him anymore. Maybe you should stop talking to him and find a way inside the cage, Miss Fortune. Oh, he's so right. aggressive. I'll be back, Wolf, and we'll sort this out about Benjamin. And you'll tell us where Benjamin is. I can't... Do you think there could be a game there? I don't know. Let's go and see. Quietly. Like a little ninja, got it. Like little lady Miss Fortune, the ninja lady. <laughs> little lady Miss Fortune. Oh, Let there's got to be some clues in here. Enter the room. We need to find a key now. I told you already. I'll find it. You'll see. Watch and learn how to find a key. <laughs> Is there anything at the desk? Yeah. Maybe oh, we, we can need find a, a clue in the computer. Yeah, but it needs the password. I'll find it. A little lady. All right, so we need a four-digit code right there. We need a three uh, hey, for the safe. Inside the bucket? Nah. Little boots with the hearts on them. No key inside, but you know, these boots are made for walking. And, and that's, that's just, just what they'll do. Miss Fortune, focus. Okay, okay. Didn't realize he was in such a rush. I'll check those buckets. <gasps> Look, there's another one of those things. Look. I found a paper with some numbers on it. Keep it. It might be helpful. Eight nine four okay. five. Eight nine four five. But look, we need to get that. Yeah. Is there a key in here? Cool. Another doll. What does it say? When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. A gift, you say? The gift from the beyond. What's that? Nothing. Nothing. It is also, I mean, I feel like she talks to him almost about everything except for those. And it's gotta be intentional. Mm. Do I smell tea? Fancy. Just so cute. Alright, we'll have to huh. do this. A secret inside? Fancy. Oh, it's a four di Oh, no, it's a five. Oh, I thought it was a three, actually. Okay, we need to go to the computer, and then we can come back to this one. Oh, wait. Safety first. It says, safety rules for handling the big bad wolf. If the wolf runs at you, ready to attack, then you shall not have any regrets about your life, because oh. you will most probably die. <laughs> so if I don't have regrets... The wolf will let me pet it? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. One way to look at it, I suppose. 
Uh, got my computer skills. Eight, nine, I bet four, five. the password is this one. Wait, Miss Fortune. I think you're holding the paper upside down. Don't interrupt me. I know what I'm doing. Keep quiet. Wait, that person said six. Do you see where it says a six right there? But I definitely think that it's upside down. Well, what if it's eight? It should be nine, but what if it's eight, six, four, five? Okay, then that means that that person was wrong and it's eight, nine, four, five. Like it reads. No, okay, so maybe it is meant to be upside down. So it's five, four, six, eight? Oh yeah, Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez is a computer scientist. It was actually upside really down. Really surprise me. Yesterday. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Oh my gosh. Hi you there. Cold? Yes, I was in the toilet. Is Bladder bloat. Cold? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Talk about crazy. How's the ear infection? It's fine. Super. We can talk some other time. Take care. Responds back with that. I forgot to tell you about there's a spare key in the safe if you need it sometime. It opens all the doors. Okay, I don't think I need it at the moment. I already have one, but thanks. Feeling much better today. How's the bear doing? It keeps sucking that popsicle. Is that normal? I'm not sure, but I like... Alright. I'm not reading that. 27581. 27581. <laughs> okay. 27581. It's like an escape room in here. 27581. Nice. Spare key and hopefully something else too. Yes. Snakes. I'm the best little ninja lady. I got the key. That's a fancy key for the big bad wolf's cage. Well done, Miss Fortune. Very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. I guess you can't listen to the... I feel like there's a voicemail on this, so you should be able to listen to it, but I don't think you can. Who puts a password upside down like that? Maybe that is actually, well, it's not even that clever because it's still, I mean, there's like four different attempts it could have been, but I hated how it said six. That bothered me. You, give us the key. I love it. she's like, if you don't have regrets, he won't eat you. Uh-huh, time to meet the wolf. <laughs> come wolfie, come. <laughs> Oh. oh I I'm a nice person. <gasps> Wolfie? Ah, oh, <laughs> damn it. What scared him away? Why can't a little lady just pet the wolf? Oh, that was unexpected. Not to me. Animals usually run away from me. Oh, she That's did say that. Too bad. But hey, the note is right there. I'm gonna take it. She said that earlier in regards to the black cat. Hmm. My evil cousin's address. What? <laughs> like, Fox. It says, my evil cousin's address. Fox, Cooks Digan, 15. Open, Open fields. It's Benjamin's address. Good. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. All right, sweet. It looks like the fastest way to the Fox is by boat. From yes! Magoria. Wait yes. a minute, are you telling me we are going to Fantasmagoria? It yes. seems that way, yes. Oh, sweet. I always wanted to go, yes. <laughs> yes. The fairgrounds, and it's going to be uh, incredibly creepy. Are you up for another round of questions while we walk? Sure, my question answering skills are all warm up. Great. But if he asks us the same Fact. questions? As usual, just be honest and you'll do fine. <laughs> First question have you ever heard this question before yes yes all right second question have you ever lied to a friend to a friend i wouldn't hardly call the guy at the zoo a friend i and i also think that it's almost supposed to be asking the player and not little misfortune but i think that i'm internalizing it as responding as little misfortune I don't, uh, well, okay, I'm I'm choosing to answer these based off of Little Misfortune. No, I swear. Whatever you say, 
Chase Fortune. Damn, dot, dot, dot. The last question. Have you ever seen someone die? She said she has, right? I think she said she saw... I feel like she said alive, but... I saw Grandad die. He was very calm. Not like in the movies. It was different. Hmm. I told him to come haunt me as a ghost, but he hasn't done it yet. Thank you for your honesty again, Miss Fortune. Mm, you're welcome. We're getting really close to Phantasmagoria now. Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting. Michael Myers. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, let me know. I'm actually curious. Let me know if you guys answered those questions like as if it was you or as if you were playing as Miss Fortune. Hmm. What? This looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? A ticket to ride. But Great hey, game. What's that falling just in front of you? Please don't play with my feelings. <laughs> it can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. Don't play with my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> what? A ticket for real? Sweet and spooky. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now we need now, to get... Let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm-hmm. Okay, but first I want to check out Is this. That a skeleton? <gasps> Crabber. <laughs> <laughs> the owl. <gasps> a ghost! Damn, that's creepy. Miss Fortune, please mind your language. But I got scared. It's totally understandable. That's no excuse. Okay. He really doesn't like the language. It says, Welcome to Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, the scary clown. Super <gasps> scary clown. Creepy clown? That's creepy. I. And red balloons, I hated. I mean, I think a lot of people are scared of clowns, but my grandmother loves clowns and she made her entire guest room when I was growing up, all clowns. And so there were like a hundred of different collectible clowns just staring at you as you slept. It was horrifying as a kid. Oh, balloons. I love balloons. Just so you know that I love balloons. <laughs> okay, Miss Fortune. Even red it balloons? Hey, you, from the other side, Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time. So try to make the right choices for her, all right? I always do. Don't look at me like that, Mr. Voice. Hmm, I just have one ticket, so I can just ride one ride. I'm gonna look around first. All right. Just one ticket. Maybe we can find some extra tickets? Hot dogs. Hey, you know, once I saw a documentary on yeah, TV. stupid about hot dogs and now i don't want to <sighs> eat hot dogs yeah horrible hot dogs suck <gasps> sorry about that i was just trying to pull your leg if you do it one more time i'll just shut my eyes <laughs> and see nothing hmm this Ooh. looks like benjamin but creepier Creep. and angrier Throw some glitter on it. <laughs> Got all this stilts. Look at the music. Ah, oh, there's a carousel. More missing posters. There's something so magical about fall time and state fairs and all of this stuff. Before I pick a ride, I want to see all of them. I have a pumpkin head. I can <laughs> see the resemblance. The what? Damn. Oh, okay. Look, there's a bun. Like that was next to the guy that was dead. Ah, oh, the smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. Yeah, is that 35 cents? I'm like starving. Check this out. <laughs> What? That is really something, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, tell me about it. Ah, oh, we're gonna get stepped on. All right, so there's the whorehouse. There's a carousel. See what's that? Before we leave, don't you want to use oh, okay. your ticket? Ah, yes, my ticket, of course. 
So carousel or haunted house? Those are two very different things. I'm inclined to say carousel, but I don't know. The carousel, I feel like I should have picked that if I was trying to, or if I brought the unicorn, but I kind of want to do the haunted house. I don't think she'd enjoy the haunted house though. But maybe, maybe we should like, and now I'm looking at it as like happiness and positivity over here. And then this is like a dose of reality over here. I don't know why that's what I'm choosing to like look at them as. And maybe she needs to overcome some fears, so then the future stuff of tonight won't be as scary. Oh, sweet! That haunted house. Let's see what she says about it. Terrifying. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? I thought she doesn't like scary stuff, though. I feel like we should. I want. Yeah. I'm. All right then. Have a pleasant ride. I'm choosing to say yes. It's probably terrifying, but... You got it. Overcome your fears. Alligator? <gasps> Aliens. You did it! Oh, I don't feel so good. I'm feeling this. Uh, you think you're going to puke? I don't want to, but the ride went too fast. It was fun. All She's gonna right. puke again. Take a deep breath and you'll soon feel better. <sighs> okay. Good, good. Now, let's go find that boat. I wonder how the other one is. <gasps> okay, I'm okay. I feel like it would be a similar outcome because doing the carousel, like, what if it went really fast as well? I feel like it'd be the same. <gasps> the ghost alien. Oh. Oh, hero. I forgot he has the cowboy oh, hat. There's a bunch of games here. Can I play one? Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. Now I with real bullets? Here, don't you? <laughs> I want to play a game now. Oh, of course he wants to. They're all killing foxes. Except for, oh my gosh. Rewards? Fortune teller? I feel like we should do a fortune teller, but Mr. she loves Boy, balloons. Can I get a balloon? Because my mommy never gave me one. So maybe you can give me one. Well, you um. know we can't afford any, but look. What's that? A floating balloon. How fun is this? Is it for me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Just makes me think of it. Oh. Oh, uh, here's my luck. Oh, Miss Fortune, I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. Okay, let's play the games. Of course, he's excited about this. Let's do this one first. This one is free. I want to play it. Oh, please do play it. Play it as much as you want. Really? All right. Well, check this out. Now with real bullets. <laughs> Fancy. Fancy. Oh. I, I think I broke the game. It looks like it. Uh... It's on fire. <laughs> Whack a fox. <laughs> Check this out. I can get a oh, reward cool. ticket if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please, go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. He really doesn't Are like the fox. Are these tiny foxes like Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all mm. stole your eternal happiness and whack them. Whack them. Okay. Whack them. Ah! Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Boy. He keeps bouncing the same one! Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh gosh. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. I'm the. <laughs> I didn't hit a single one. 
Okay. It's like DDR all over again. There we go. I went from losing it all to finally getting a reward. Can I play it again and get more tickets? Can you keep winning? Yeah, let's see how many tickets we can get. Okay, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Oh, missed that one. Oh, but we got another. Okay, let's do a total of, I saw three. I saw three things we could get with our tickets. Oh shit. Damn it. I'm panicking? I think you have to get six. We go again. Two more times. I want to have four tickets just in case. What was that? Oops. You don't have to actually go as fast as you think you do. There we go. All right, one more time for four tickets and then we'll get out of here. Why does something about this make me think of Banjo-Kazooie? Like with the, specifically with the haunted house. Oh, that's my high score. Okay. It makes me think of the haunted house part in Banjo. Maybe it was Banjo-Tooie? Fortune tell. Sweet, a fortune tell. We need to get the top thing. Use the reward ticket. Yeah, I think we can always go back, yeah. And I want to know the future of me. Please, thank you. <laughs> Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you. And you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> the beyond is coming for me? The last one did talk about <laughs> the, beyond. the beyond. Want to try again? Now I kind of do, but hold on. Well, we can always come back to her. We can do the rewards first. We need to get the other doll. Is that a hat for Mr. Stone? A golden chocolate coin, a cool tiny hat, and a doll. Oh, sweet. Let's see what I can Three tickets. Three tickets. We can go back and win more. But we need to get that. one of those dolls again. I want it. Reality will transform into what the child desires most. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Oh, really? A desire, you say? Interesting. I desires. What did you choose? Nothing. Okay, we need four tickets because I want to do the fortune telling one more time and I want to buy the hat for Stony and then also the chocolate coin. So we need to play this four more times. Whack a fox. I think it's hilarious how it's rewarding you for whacking the fox. Ah, oh, shoot. Boink. Got it all confused. Boink. Boink. Nice. Okay. Three more times. We going. I think it's because whenever I first did it, I feel like you miss if you don't hit it right away, like it goes back down, but you get it even if it goes back down. You just have to hit the right button. I'm sure you have to be decently quick at it. One more. We could actually try to get an extra one too and see if we get a different fortune. Since we're already here, let's just get one extra ticket. Because maybe she'll keep telling us stuff about the beyond. Probably not. But... Oops. 
And there we go. Another fox bites the dust. Check that out. I want all the reward tickets. <laughs> I'm awesome. That's I'm really awesome. really impressive. I know, right? <laughs> Alright, let's go guide the, get the stuff from the machine first, and then we'll spend the rest on the fortune teller. I wonder what the importance of the gold coin would be. That gold and chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll it does. That. Looks super good. I think it's because I haven't had breakfast, so I'm just hungry for anything right now. I know who will look amazing in this tiny cool hat. Shut up! <laughs> there you go, Stony. You look like a rock star. It's the feather in the hat for me. And spend the rest on the fortune teller. I guess there's probably something for the unicorn if you pick the unicorn, I'm assuming. See if she tells us the same thing. Yes, again. What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. Oh, really? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Want Do another one. Try it again then. Hmm. Okay, okay, again. Again. You are being lied to at this very moment. Trust me, me. Don't trust anything. Ah, oh, really? Who is lying to me? Is Benjamin lying to me? Oh. What? Oh no. Too bad. Oh, I'm yes, so sure, Mr. Voice. Boy. Maybe he was flying drunk. You know, like my mommy did once and crushed daddy's car. Like this little birdie crushed with its body, you know? Yes, I get it, Miss Fortune. It's still sad. It crushed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it did crash. Nothing to do with Mr. Voice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so cute. Hopefully we didn't need any more tickets. Swan Lake. It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh, okay. Take my chocolate coin. I'm sure. This isn't ominous at all. Shake this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, mm. this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Or to yes. hell. And it's just one golden coin. I got the sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... Oh! No, see, it's fine. <laughs> oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? Yeah. We're good. This is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked by pirates, though. <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you the see Kraken. it, you no. Know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Uh, I always blame. I'll think about it forever. Oh. We're going to the underworld. I always forget on the, uh, what is the guy's name? In mythology. If you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Right? Oh, yeah. What's a freaking Kraken? Hey, this place is very quiet. Is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was mm -hmm. thinking. Is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like <laughs> some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. Oh, with fish, you say? Well, I don't have any fish on me. I guess I won't be petting the Kraken. Oh! <gasps> Was that the fish from the bridge? Oh my god. <laughs> I think he's happy because I saved him. You remember I saved him from the bridge, remember? Yes, I remember. Did you see the kiss he gave me <laughs> on my mouth? <laughs> because he was in love with me. 
because I stay with him. <laughs> Somebody loves me. No. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? <laughs> Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiriba doko desu ka? The music. So you don't know, huh? You know? I've never been outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. He's giving up. Uh, stop talking. Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? <laughs> oh, look, can he swim? Hello? Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Questions. <laughs> people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look, we have arrived. <laughs> I knew those questions were going to drive him insane. I didn't think it was going to drive him to jump off the boat. Oh, yeah. This is not the island of misfit toys I remember. <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard. I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. Mm. What if, like, these are the toys that all of the children that went missing brought along with them, too? And, like, Mr. Rock will end up in this pile as well. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Hide. You know. <laughs> we need to hide somewhere. Find a rock. Here we go. <laughs> Check this out, Stony. This is your family, see? From the woods. Where's my say hat? Hello. And now say bye bye, baby Stony, because we're leaving. Bye bye. We need to hide. Oh, oh damn it! My little foot got stuck. Mmm. <gasps> it's the monster, Mr. Voice. Can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> oh. Wait, 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 what am I doing? Okay, button mash, button mash, button mash, button mash. Leave me alone. Run! What are you running away from? <laughs> Is it the fox? I'm pretty sure it It's like a Michael the Myers theme, yeah, right? It's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. What is he on about? Fox? He has a staff. Don't make any sudden moves. I think I should do the opposite of what the voice says. <gasps> oh, boss, so soft. Don't touch her with your filthy paws, you beast. Stop it! You're scaring him away! Oh, he's sprinting Come away on, again! Benjamin. <laughs> the paw to hit. Huh. The flowers are pretty here. Please, Miss Fortune, <laughs> stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. I'm sure if there you is. Running, you end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. Stop running, please. 
Oh, uh, shoot. These are probably the defining moments. This is where, do I, I mean, but think about, think about what the, the fortune teller said. Like, somebody's lying to us. There's no, like, there's not really anybody else that important in the game. I mean, like, our parents, but stop listening to Mr. Voice. Keep running. Wait. Those are kind of the same thing, right? If I stop listening to him or keep running after Benjamin? I guess I can tell the voice to go away completely. I would say keep running after Benjamin. But I feel like they're almost the same thing, but I'm gonna fall. Oh, shoot. What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh -huh. I know I could have been more specific, like, there's a bear trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt. True. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay, thank you. Who left the bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point <laughs> any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal foxophobia again. Huh. All right. I, I don't know. I think he should have been like, there's a bear trap ahead. It's kind of the same thing as saying stop running. I think there's more words to say stop running. Oh, this makes me think about Bubsy. Bubsy. You know? did, did I show you Bubsy the teddy in the oh. secret spot? He will be very sad to know about this, you know? These bear traps. Because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear traps. And if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. No. Now I see Bubsy being killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? About Bubsy, don't you listen? <laughs> Let's keep going now, Fortune. Bubsy Bye, died. Bubsy, trapped dead in the bear trap. Trapped dead in the bear trap. Okay, interact this one with it. Looks like the other one that didn't look like the other ones. You see? Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> huh. But Another this is piece. Missing. What's this? It doesn't say anything. The first one probably said that it was the same stuff, you know, a hole in the middle. Don't know what it says. But what so, are the important Fortune, parts of this? I have a couple of questions for you. Again? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now just be honest and think about it before answering. First this... question. Do you believe in magic? Look at the northern lights. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? I'm gonna say yes for her. Yes. The glitter. Yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? Aww. Oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on. Second question. Do you trust me? So this can go either way. I could say that I trust him without actually trusting him. I think she trusts him. But I want to know what happens if I say no. just a voice in my head mommy talks to herself a lot oh. too she says it's her inner demons and that they just keep them away i'm sorry to hear that mm. hi are you my inner demon me a demon <laughs> no nah you can't be a demon not with the silly voice <laughs> well anyway now for the third question are you afraid of dying Oh, wow, that's a deep question. Um, I don't know. I feel like she probably... I think she understands the concept, but I do feel like probably not that much based on everything I know about her. I would probably say no. No, I'm not afraid of death because all, all, all dead people I know never came back from being dead. So it must be pretty cool to be dead. <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out when you die. Looks like there's going to be a storm. Yeah, way to bring a no, damper on the story. I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little lady, you know. Every time she says, I'm a little lady. Hey, oh. I think we're here. 
I don't like it. Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the fox, run. All right. This looks terrifying. And isn't that the creature right there? That's what uh, the creature looks it like. It looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> He's so. Your biceps are huge. Kiss me. Be brave, Miss Fortune. Yeah, you went through the haunted house. You can do this. Okay. I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us and everything will be fine. Hmm. Hat and Is coat. Is this Benjamin's? He got some sweet style. I like it. That's a really nice color on a fox, I feel like. <laughs> Nobody's saying that, but I feel like orange and that color go well together. Whoa, a video player. Bonsu! Oh, can see. In woods. Let's see. Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> oh, he is the one making traps. Is that the oh. Damn it. I broke Benjamin's tape. He was doing something. Maybe I think I maybe. Can fix it. Maybe he was setting. Yeah. Happiness to the video player. What if he was setting up traps for it? Like, and totems to wear him away? Like, to kind of protect himself? Ah, oh, what a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? In this situation, normally I would totally respect Benjamin's privacy, but uh, not when her life is on the line. I'm just gonna have a little look inside. By Benjamin? By Benjamin Johannalius Red Fox. I knew his name was Benjamin. <laughs> I must make dangerous, oh, mission. Mission must be done. Is what I trained to make nervous, but is okay. I have study and bigger confidence. I travel from Senir City to Pandora when fog appears. I pack things and food. No information on how long to stay. I rent cabin until work done. My task important. Boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. So Benjamin is not from open fields? I bet he has an accent. I love that in a fox. How weird would it be if like, if like death was sending him to stop like a serial killer or something like that? Because somebody, I don't know, but then like, I, uh. After a long walk in fog, I arrived city called Open Fields. Tiny town has good forest. Cabin very nice, has TV, kitchen. I sleep sofa. Like, death didn't decide on that, but then that gets complicated because it's like, did death decide that that was when they were gonna die or is this somebody else taking it into their own hands? And then is this just his way of stopping somebody going crazy? I decorate cabin, fish balls smell funny. Eight mushrooms in woods. I refresh after sleep. Try find parasite. Did not find it. Day one failed. Trying to find a parasite. That looks like you said. Many victims gone missing in parasite game. I can't help. Feel sad. I send message to boss. Some victims not coming to Senior City. I see parasite. It scared me. Also, not eat more mushrooms. Stomach ache and much gas is no good. Don't eat this mushroom again. Parasite. Could that be? I mean, what automatically like popped into her head? I mean, if you're thinking parasite, like the voice inside of her head. Mushroom, serious danger. Not feel good. <laughs> danger mushroom. I stay home, cut wood and do tea and root soup. Good taste. Oh, poor Benji. I do dolls for victims and pictures, if she sees them good. Parasite recognized, Morgo code P0101222. It likes to play. I has guide for steps. Courage tomorrow. Now rest until stomach good. Yeah, if the voice is telling us that the fox is bad and he's out to stop the parasite, it's the voice in our head. 
Feeling no stomach aches, only gas, I go help missing victims in town. Morgo know I'm here, Morgo play old, trick many times now. But it made mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't have her say boss, she must be rescued. But I follow steps, I saw Morgo take shape, scary. Morgo, Morgo. Okay, so it's following us, but wow. Missing a voice? It's a monster. Called. Boss send me message. Watch victim house. I sleep outside. Hide in trash. Tash. I fail find parasite. It did not come today. Big trouble. Misfortune watch me. Strange. Big trouble? Misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. <laughs> Why she see me? She big eyes. I run away. Felt warm in stomach. Maybe mushroom tickle again? I see Morgo play old trick again. Victim don't re realize all this again. All is again. Must courage and stop parasite this time. I send many victims to Sinner City. I got level two protector. I confident. Now I has Prim primiv pr primiv illumination cane. Oh. Big trouble, misfortune. Oh, oh sorry. that's me. I bet he's in love. The same. All is again. All is oh, again. Check out Benji's stick. Primeve. It's like primeval. I try the illumination cane in woods. Fun. I feel courage. Practicing to help misfortune. I see she makes too much talk. I think she fun and strong. Morgo confused by charms of misfortune. I did video picking wood and parasite came, but I'm courage now. I scared only little. Hmm, yes, I know how to talk. He loves me. He loves me. I message boss, I'm doing it today. All steps followed, prepared breakfast tea, funny feeling with tea. Herbs from the wood are fun. I'm courage and confident today. I ready. If Benji has a boss, he has a job. Then I can be married to him. <laughs> then I can. All right, and he didn't even see that we read it as well. Maybe it preys on the more bad deeds we do, it though. Looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I mm. like that, folks. <laughs> the meaning of love. When something wants to be loved. The fun stories of a boring man. The upside of being a spirit animal. Communication, key to cooperation. Learning how to be gray. Death after life. It looks like Benjamin. I like that enough, folks. Oh, we already saw that one. Oh, let's look at the tea. Mmm, that tea smells like roses and lemon. I bet it's called Benjamin's Blonde. Because I can almost smell his boss blending the ingredients. Maybe I should try it out. Mmm. Didn't you say he made the tea and then he felt strong? And courageous? Mmm. It definitely tastes like his fluffy boss. Mmm. <laughs> delicious. Ugh. I feel weird. But it said it made him courageous, I thought. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> what is happening? There's so many flies around him. Is that because he's actually like from the other world? Benjamin! Don't let us go. Uh, oh, I puked again. Benjamin? Peanut butter? What? Oh. oh my goodness, how many times have you guys seen me pu puke in this game? Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> <sighs> There's lots of feathers. <gasps> Benjamin. Benjamin. 
really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. No! Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry, you can hold my hand if you want to. What are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? <laughs> what is that? Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Oh, he was gonna give it to his father. Is it Morgan. the monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Mm -hmm. You can't hide the children. Follow Benjamin, a hundred percent. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? What if this diary was planted? I don't know. What if Benjamin is bad news? Go, go, go! I wasn't about to stay in the cabin. Oh, come on. Benjamin, oh. where do you go? This is kind of scary. Lots of tufts of fur. What? Oh no, is this Benjamin? Does he shed his fur? Secret There's hatch. a hole behind the painting. Hello? Go, go, go. I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. Okay, fair enough. Let me grab something. Right here. Uh-huh. Such a clever little lady. I'm a little lady. Time to use my ninja skills. I don't like what we hear behind it, though, either. <gasps> Shh! What a bad crack. Be quiet! Oh. This is a ninja mission! Do you think this was because I drank the tea? Benjamin, are you here? This does not look so good. So it was Benjamin placing these. But Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. I mean, they were outside of, I'm assuming, where the monster maybe comes out of the other world. Like, from the other side, you know? Rice. Mm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Mm -hmm. At least he has a, a fire extinguisher down here. The key. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. It looks just like the key from the other thing. My ninja senses are yes. telling me to climb up on this chair. And flip the hatch. Hmm. A real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> everything. A secret button. Benjamin ran quick if he did all of this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna push the button. You already know. Alright then. I push the button. He did all of this in this cabin? He went to work quick. That was easy. <laughs> all right, time to find Benji. Oh. I don't, oh. Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Miss Fortune. things get better. Okay, Miss Fortune. Let's... Oh. Get up, get up, get up. Why is the other thing coming? Get up, Miss Fortune. Why am I having to do this? You it's fighting me. Come on. Than you think. Come on, Miss Fortune. You've been knocked down before. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Guys, I have horrible button mashing Did skills. Did that stop you? Come on. Come on, come on. They're horrible. Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. My thumb's getting really tired. <laughs> because you are because. Miss Fortune. Oh. You are the little lady, Miss yes. Fortune. <laughs> Aww, that's a cute scene. But this isn't going to take us to the other side, is it? Yeah, okay. it's just an escape. I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? I guess I'm alone. That's okay. We don't want Mr. Voice in our head. 
Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Aww. Mm, dream come true. She finally got to pet. Yeah, that's right. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> Aww. He Is fell. Benjamin's bug? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm oh. very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Shit. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. The Raven. Boys, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time, and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in mm -hmm. his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children, and I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, Ooh. I can. Stop that. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. It's back I'm at home. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What did you do to him? Freaking oh, sh monster. Time to Let's run. See what's inside. Maybe a clue or Or maybe he left something for us to protect ourselves. Uh, oh my gosh! Is that Benjamin as a baby? <laughs> so cute. Another one, look. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you say? Hmm. UST, for students at the University of Senior Seduced Technology. Protector Course Three Step Guide Three Step Guide to Exterminate Parasitic Beings from the Beyond. As the ultra reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside of the constituted FRE, five realms of essential existence, have appeared. After the ultra war, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm we refer to as the Beyond. Oh, this is really mysterious. The beyond is, in simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity, with no logical laws of physics. We can't allow such beings inside the FREE, -E, that spells free. <laughs> Damn it, now I'm gonna have the jingle jang. Jam in my head for the rest of the day. FRE at the moment, since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the ultra reality. Before the ultra war, the beyond is a still is still an understood, misunderstood realm. We haven't yet found the pieces to connect with it in a logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They normally enter the third reality, aka Pandora, and seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. And that's why we need the protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into the senior city. The guidance provided in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to the Seneer. The protector will be rewarded with new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step one, the protector must locate the victims and the parasite. Morgo, evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step two. Need of assistance checklist. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. Nope. The victim is already dead but doesn't realize it. Nope. The victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. No. The victim sympathizes with the parasite. The parasite. If the victim is in need of assistance, proceed to step two. But I guess that's why he's not directly helping us because we don't show any of those like symptoms. Uh, checklist to Parasite Morgo. Deforms reality into absurdity. 
Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victims to play dangerous games. Its shape shifts into a human-animal creature. It quickly learns about the environment. Language and culture are not an issue for this parasite. Large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgo, giving him an overview of the playing ground. Step two, use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to irreversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. I like to think. <laughs> step three, prepare for direct contact with. With the what? Now I will never know. I'm assuming with the parasite, but, or with the person you're protecting, but it doesn't matter because we don't show symptoms of the first, the first stuff, right? Bandage up the backpack. <laughs> oh, we already looked. Yeah. There's so much more to this story too. I love how it's actually like amidst the simplicity of the art design and everything, it's actually heavily detailed. He dropped it on purpose. Yeah. Mm. I'm definitely not right. dead and don't I realize it, right? The dream back home. Because people have interacted with us. Yeah, people have interacted with us and we told our mom and everything. Yeah, there's no way. Aware. The now parasite. When I look at this. I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. <laughs> Such a foxy boy. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Is my mom okay. not worried about I'm us? I'm gonna talk to myself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And mm. he took Benjamin, and now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> hmm. That's... Yeah, there's so much, like, childlike wonder still in her. Like, I feel like the parasite hasn't impacted her whatsoever. I mean, not directly. Oh, I did bring my sketchbook, or my coloring book, didn't I? Oh my goodness, oh gosh. Oh no. Oh, I guess it'll just, oh, okay. Okay, I don't actually have to be intentional with it. This is not how I would actually do the coloring for the record. <laughs> Look at his little red toes. I feel like I can make the most by going like back and forth like this. <laughs> Get the bottom first. Oh, we hit these rocks down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that all done? Okay, that's all done. <laughs> I feel like it'd be pretty with how bumpy this train is. I don't blame her for some of her coloring marks, you know? Oh, I think I can actually close it, but I feel like maybe doing this could help. Oh, I painted enough that I can go to the next page. Oh, I mean, these are not spectacular by any means, but oh, those are pretty colors, though. Such a small crown. It just has to be the bulk of him, you know, it doesn't have to be exact by any means. Go, 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 go. I see why you guys recommended this game like it is so unique. 
but also just a fun playthrough. I mean, despite there are some really heavy tones throughout, right? But somehow playing as a kid yourself, it almost, like, it, you almost feel like them in that moment where you're not truly understanding the concepts. Like, obviously, being older, we do, but you still, it just feels different when you're playing it through the lens of a child. Hmm. I wonder how the parasite picked her. Oh, didn't it say because of one of the dolls, did it not speak about something maybe to do with her parents? Like, I would assume that the parasite targets, intentionally targets, mm, like, what he, they would deem as being more susceptible based off of their family life, too. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything that I get for coloring, but... Ah, oh, these are pretty colors. I want to see if we can get to the end of the book. But you do have to color a certain percentage first. Butterfly. Pretty butterfly. I love how this is one magic green marker. Or crown that's doing all of it. We're getting the gist of it outline the like I'm not gonna try to fill in oh uh, okay. I don't feel inspired oh uh. hello Hiro I didn't recognize you <laughs> oh yeah he doesn't normally have the coincidence that you're on the same train as me you know I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head but I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? Look at the thing behind her. Now, Hira, what does it mean? Consequences? It's Beware the of the consequences. Help him. Beware of the consequences. I wonder if answering the questions a particular way have a major impact. You know, when the voice is asking you certain questions. That was horrifying. I Hide I your children. I Hiro again. I wonder what the monster did to him. Ugh. Now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Uh. Huh. I assume that Benjamin, we've already seen these, but I'm gonna relook at them. Benjamin was warning me yeah. all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I'm a silly little lady. That's what I am. Oh. Aww. That's not necessarily good for her to come to this realization either, though. I feel like that's easier to prey upon those at kind of feelings. Had fun at Fantasmagoria. <laughs> I'm gonna tell mommy about it. The part that scares me the most is how dark it is and yeah. her parents. But. I can oh. keep kicking it? I know. But we should know that by now. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. Oh. Uh, very weird that they aren't responding to her, but we did still have direct contact with the zookeeper. And he did, in fact, like, take what we said and leave. So I, I can't be dead. But I'm, what if I am a ghost right there, if they didn't uh, notice me? Where's the car? Is that a goma gown? Isn't it insane how much just like a red light can be freaky? Got red lights. I like them. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? What's the 
What's that? What the heck? Bungie? Throw glitter over everything. Everything's gone. Hello, mommy. Except for the Bungie? cupboard. What happened here? Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your Mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yes, I guess you're right. Good. Good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone, Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. This whole voice has changed and I hate it. This is Miss Fortune. She's She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle what? for you. Wait a minute. Didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Didn't you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way? <clears throat> Wait. Stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this <sighs> like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Mm. Stop ruining this. Mm. Eternal happiness? No deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... Wait, Wait what? What? <laughs> no. No. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I promise you know the way. What? My glitter. I have a little hunch that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. And you give him the bird, girl. You give him the bird. Huh. Is this a new dance song? This is the song that's always going. If Mr. Voice scares me again, I'm gonna run and hide in here. Okay, this is not the same song. But we're just gonna put an end to that. I can't look at Benji. I can't pick up Rock. Okay, I'm just gonna play his game one last time. One last time? Do you think that he continues to have you play the game not really this game but like his whole intention is to get you to not trust the fox and everything oh we're falling again stop it from falling oh no not again you promised he wouldn't be like last time that was a beautiful example of cause oh, and effect no you lied to me i don't want to play this game anymore Ooh. Fine. let me come up with a new game to play New game. Knock knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock knock. Who's there? You're scaring me. Stop it. Leave me alone. Knock knock. knock, knock who's there? Run. Knock, knock. Who's there? Knock, Go. Knock, knock. Come on. I still have my fort. Knock, knock. What happened here? My secret spot. He won't we'll find, find me, me in there. Go run. I don't like the voice getting deeper. And she's holding rock. Right now, Miss Fortune, we have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, Stoney, teach me how to be brave. So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your life? I will live forever with Benjamin 
And there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? The fox. He's been trying to take you away from me all the time. And his ugly paintings. Ugh. I'd oh, say he does see justice. Talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Ah! Oh. This... Silly little child. Another toy for my collection. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You <sighs> say Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Yes, Benjamin! Benjamin! Oh. <laughs> How did you get here? There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me. Get him! You got it, Benjamin. No. No. How do you know it won't be back is the problem. And because I made the deal, it was able to go away with like that just because Benjamin saved us. We shouldn't have made the deal from the beginning. I guess if we had never made the deal, the parasite couldn't have been in our head to begin with. Damn it. Look, there's a last doll. Is everything back to normal now? Benjamin saved me. Benji, are you around? Aw, Benji. I guess I have to reveal this. I'll make some improvements. Mm. But first, I want to find Benjamin. There's the unicorn that I didn't take. We'll look out the window Benjamin, first. Benjamin, did you go outside? The last doll. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He is the voice in your head driving you mad. But we already know Morgo that. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head oh. driving you mad. Maybe we're back to the first day where we just have to say that, no, we don't accept the deal? Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Hmm. Benjamin, where are you? I mean, it seemed like he dispelled Morgo entirely, right? I... Oh. Ugh. Talk about cause and effect. Uh, <laughs> Benji? Benji? Let's go find him. Is our mom here? Our mom isn't here. And it is October 11th. It's the morning of October 11th. Mommy? I wonder... Oh. Mommy! I'm back. Mommy, don't ignore me. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? What's happening? I'm missing. She's reporting me missing. <laughs> this must be a bad dream. Right? It's not my father. They can't see me. Oh, wait! No, that's me! That's me! Is that... Oh, no. What have I done? Was that my dad? Oh, Benji, you're back. I thought I lost you too. 
what this? What what's happening? We need to go. All right. Well, I'm going to the Sunir, whatever the the place that he takes the kids to. But thank you. Wait, are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bangi, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while, oh. but you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. I guess maybe Little Misfortune was what was keeping her to her dad as well. If they married because she was going to have this Little Misfortune possibly. So he was fighting for where our soul ended up, I'm assuming. Interesting. The whole time I was... The whole time I had to have been dead... And it was like a fight for where my soul went to, like which side it went to, it had to have been. But we died in the morning or... More goes the parasite between the things and then this is... Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Benji? It's saving. What the heck? Oh, the puppy. puppy! I'm so happy to see you again. Wait for me, puppy. Oh. The the acorns. The puppy, the acorns. Is that a little... Is that a little reaper? What the heck? This is the weirdest mashup of a bunch of different things I've ever seen. What's next? A cow? Can I glitter bomb in here? I can't even glitter bomb. Ooh. Oh, he's picking berries. Maybe following Benji was oh, the wrong thing. This place is really cold. What if I chose wrong the whole time? But the other guy was really creepy. My heart. Did I get all of the heart pieces? Oh, I missed two. No, I missed two spots. But I must have gotten enough that I can cross. But I missed all of them. All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh, I guess Mr. Boy's game is over now. Benji? Who are you? I'm a little lady. <laughs> Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. Am I going to be the next protector for other people, possibly? What is this? 
this place? That's the end? What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? Dude, all of these short games that you guys are throwing at me are just leaving me like gobsmacked. I just <laughs> so, I mean, I guess how I'm choosing to interpret it is I kind of feel like I was dead the whole time and it was almost like a fight for where my soul was going to end up. But at the same time, that doesn't make sense because it's not like we exactly, it wasn't like a heaven or hell situation. Yikes forever. I need to go look up all the theories on this or like what, like what the concept actually is. I mean, so we know that there were two, apparently there were two spots where I missed my opportunity to throw glitter. Um, but the fox the whole time, I mean, we got to read about it, right? Like we read about the different areas. Um, I know that, you know, the fox left all of that stuff for us to read and it seemed like there's all these parasites and he had been collecting bodies music forever the voices were so good like whoever did the the voice the mr voice he did a fantastic job but was little i guess my main question is was little misfortune dead from the beginning and it seemed like she was or did she die on her way back in Either way, I also feel like the car that hit her, like based on the tire tracks, although the tire tracks were probably unrelated to her death. I think that was just their car. But for a second, I thought it was like their dad that actually killed her without, you know, like he was driving home drunk or something like that. We know that I think it's safe to assess that Morgo chose to try to infiltrate her mind because of her reality with her family. But it broke my heart at the beginning where she said, I'm going to get eternal happiness for my mother. But he was promising eternal happiness this whole time. So I feel like that's like the promise of something that is tempting, but it's not actually what it really is meant to be. There's a lot of, I told you guys, like there's a lot of heavy themes in this game that kind of all don't get like, I wouldn't say get swept under the carpet by any means or rug, but it, they definitely don't feel as intense because it's through the lens of a child. But the child, I, I think she was dead the whole time. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to Reddit and see everybody's theories on this. Let me know how you guys enjoyed this game. I think I actually ended up finishing this a little bit shorter than I was expecting. I thought this was going to end up being more around four hours. And I think I came in at about three. I think it ended up being three hours total. But holy cow, another incredible recommendation by you guys. I do feel like I did a great job. I mean, I, I'm not even going to pat myself on the back for that. I think the game does a pretty good job at setting up Mr. Voice to be more suspicious than, um, you know, to be suspicious from the start. There was no... There was really no point where I trusted him. I think it was interesting that I did chose or I did choose to say like, no, like I think that you're lying to me or something like that. Um, or I told him to his face that I didn't trust him. It was from the beginning. I did feel like the wolf was in fact. Yeah, I don't know. I, did, I really felt like the wolf was good the whole time, which is interesting because. It was like the voice in her head, the parasite was leading her on these adventures, but yet the fox always cut through all of that bullshit, you know? And then it was interesting because I don't know if the intention behind Mr. Voice saying things like, hey, stop cussing or trying to be almost like a moral compass in a way was deceiving on purpose to try to make the player, like, do you guys feel like they were trying to make the player trust Mr. Voice to begin with and have that inner conflict? That's loads, extras, cinematics, dolls, art gallery. Hmm. Cinematics. Yeah, they were some awesome. I will say there were some really good cinematics. But wait, I missed two. I missed four and six. Huh. The fox in the open fields we saw, which is at the beginning. Misfortune. Rainbow party. I missed four. I did the haunted house. There is something I missed here. Picnic with Benjamin. 
I did get the picnic with Benjamin. So these must be based on your choices. Dolls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Oh, no. I missed a doll. Okay, so starting at the beginning, everything begins with the song of Jackdaw, which I have to look up. I'm not familiar. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone... When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gifts from beyond. Mmm. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond, reality will transform into what the child desires most. Ah, uh, okay. Mmm. But then I miss six. At the end of the road, you will recognize you already signed the deal, which we knew that. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He is the voice in your head driving you mad. But we knew that. By the time we received this, we knew that. All around, disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Everything begins with the song. Hmm. It leads me to believe that the ending kind of ends up being her becoming a protector, maybe for future people as well. I don't know. <laughs> There's so much to unpack there. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this short playthrough of Little Misfortune. I think I kept saying misfortunes, but yeah, Little Lady Misfortune. She is probably one of the most likable characters in any game just because of um, the way that she, like the way that she talks. It's, you know, that childlike wonder that you see and you see the world within that lens that she offers you and the way that like the writing for her character feels so accurate to a child. Um, and in a way, it kind of like I said, I love playing games that bring back that childlike wonder. And although this had some darker themes and stuff like that, it certainly did the trick on that. So with that, thank you guys so much for taking time to watch this playthrough and let me know other short games you'd like to see and i will see you guys in the next video bye youtube Oh my gosh, that was so good.